If your doctor had a pill to fix this problem, he would have called it a cure. I created the My Tea Magic program to deal with the exact problems that medical doctors cannot. I know you've done blood tests, x-rays, CT scans. You would be healthy right now if your doctor had this. You would be enjoying life with your kids. And they would have a better memory of you if your doctor had this. You will be doing what you love. You'll be doing your job that you love if your doctor had this. You will be actually in love with somebody and your relationship with somebody would actually improve if your doctor had this. You will be on your dream vacation right now if your doctor had this. You will be doing what you're supposed to be doing. You will be where you're at in life, exactly where you want it to be. If your doctor had this, I know you've done the blood tests, x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, PET scans, and you've done all these scans. You've done diets. You try looking at other solutions to your health problem. And still, you're stuck. I know exactly where you're at right now because I've experienced it. Not personally, but as a practitioner, as somebody who's helping somebody. And as I look around at a solution for a problem like this, I couldn't find one. So I created the My Tea Magic program, which is a specific type of looking at the problem, understanding the problem, and then created a solution just for that problem. This is a customized program to handle a problem like yours. Now I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Hi, my name is Dr. Charles Quay. I'm a chiropractor, herbalist, and nutritionist. And I've been helping people since 2002. I got interested in cancer research when I finished college and I went to USC for graduate school. And when I started cutting up pieces of cancer, doing tests on them, I realized we're looking at something that the problem is already too late. We're actually not creating a solution. We're just studying the disaster. And the solution is actually somewhere else. And by the time I realized that, I had to leave the cancer research world. And I became a chiropractor. Because that gave me the flexibility to look at this problem differently. Now I'm going to show you what I found. Usually with stage 4 lung cancer, it's really not fair to say stage 4 because stage 4 just means the cancer is not nice and compact, it's spread out. But how far it's spread and how much of the cancer has affected the other organs, it's really, really important. So stage 4 is not fair. This should be stage 5, stage 6, stage 7, stage 8, and up to stage 10. Technically, there's 10 stages of lung cancer after stage 4, but the medical doctors only stop at stage 4. It doesn't really matter. You could call it a different name, but the problem's still there. You agree? So let's look at the problem instead of creating more names that doesn't really help. I'm interested in results. You're interested in results. And I know that if your doctor had a pill that can do what the Mighty Magic program can do, he would call it a cure. This is not a cure. This is a solution to the problem that's created and the PET scans picked up as cancer. But cancer is not the problem. We want that out, but there's a problem underneath that. And I'm going to show you what that means. So with any type of cancer, we have a lung with the bronchioles and the trachea. And for some reason, the cancer likes to stay in the lungs, not in the bronchioles and not in the trachea. Why? The interesting thing about lung cancer is it's the most common. And the reason why it's the most common, I think, is because the lungs are directly related to the environment. It's, there's a direct connection. And how well our lungs can heal from an infection like a flu or a cold or bronchitis or 
smoking or not smoking or the air, the quality of the air and all the junk that we breathe in just so we can have oxygen. And then we had to breathe out all that air and push out all those, all that junk. So our lungs are constantly being assaulted by toxins. Fine. Clean air is important. We agree. Asbestos in the house is bad. We agree. Spraying pesticides into the field and breathing the air is bad. We agree. Having factories spew out toxins, toxic smoke is bad. We agree. All the fumes that come out of a car is bad. We agree. We agree fresh air is good. Have you ever gone to a place the air is really fresh and the minute you breathe, you brighten up? It's because there's no toxins. Your body doesn't have to deal with the constant amount of toxins that are going into your lungs or our lungs. Especially when we live in Hollywood, California. Constantly, there's constant toxins. And we constantly, every breath we take, we're battling the toxins. So what does that mean? Well, the cancer stage four means the cancer is spread. Okay, it's not stage zero, it's not stage one, it's not stage two, it's not stage three, it's stage four. But stage four cancer can mean different things. The cancer could be this big, it'll be stage four, or it could be this big. Or it could be here and then here. So stage four is hard because it doesn't tell us anything. Would you rather have cancer on one lung or on both lungs? Would you rather have cancer in the lung and the liver? Or would you have rather have cancer in the lung and the bone? Stage four doesn't mean anything. The most common areas where cancer spreads is from lung to the other lung, left side to the right side, right side to the left side, and then from the lung to the liver and lung to the bone. It could go straight to the brain. It can go to the ribs. It can go to the kidney. But most likely, cancer starts to show up in liver and bone. That is what's most common. But it doesn't really matter because what we're talking about is the cancer that's in your body. We don't care about the cancer in somebody else's body from one lung to another or from lung to liver, lung to bone, lung to colon. It doesn't matter. We're talking about your cancer. And the mechanism, the, the thing that made the cancer in the first place has spread to another part of your body. And now that part, part of your body can create cancer. And the reason why chemo can get to it is because it's very simple. The circulation into cancer is slow. We're literally killing all the healthy cells first. And there's more of it, so the numbers start to go down. And the amount of cancer cells is less, but the circulation to the cancer cell is less. So the healthy cells go down faster and then the cancer cells start to die off. And the trick was we're going to kill the cancer cells before we kill you. The biggest problem right now is when the cancer had now spread to other parts of your body, we are dealing with pain, we're dealing with discomfort, we're dealing with no energy, we're dealing with now your body is literally just shutting down. And the reason why is because the immune system is literally overloaded and the acidity, and this is the important part, the acidity that cannot be tested from a blood test and won't come up on an x-ray. You can't see acidity in an x-ray. You can't see acidity in a CT scan. You can't see acidity in an MRI scan. You can't see acidity in a PET scan. You can see the results of acidity. You can see the cancer getting bigger. The PET scan is showing more, uh, more parts of your body parts being lit, lighting up. But the actual problem still 
there. And it's that problem that cancer research can't get to. Because by the time you cut a piece of cancer out and you stick it into formaldehyde or formalin, and that's to help preserve the tissue because we're studying the tissue, we've literally washed away the acidity. The reason why the cancer is there in the first place has gone into the solution and we literally flush it down the sink. And this is why nobody has found cancer the cause of cancer. And so the cure for cancer is not going to be found in a test tube because during the processing of a tissue and the intent to study this, we lost this. This went down the sink. This doesn't matter. When I went back and looked at cancer and looked at all the research and looked at the physiology and the biology and how cells work and all the technical stuff, I found out that cancer is weak. It's not strong. It's not resilient. It's weak. But something is protecting it. And the weakness is the problem we're associated with. With that. We're associated with cancer. And that cancer is a major problem. So now everybody wants to get rid of this. But the problem is, this is weak. There's something stronger protecting it. And that's why it's stage four, and that's why it's spreading, is because the protection, the protective mechanism that's allowing cancer to exist is there. And once you peel that protection off, you've exposed cancer. And the cancer dies quickly. So what is the protective mechanism? Well, the protective mechanism is this acidity. This is why the baking soda treatment was working at some point. It works to a certain level and it stops working. It's because it's, the baking soda neutralizes the acidity. But the acidity has to be flushed out. We don't just add baking soda to it and then neutralize it. We literally have to flush it out. The problem with acidity is it's liquid, which is why the baking soda treatments are popular. And it makes sense. Everyone knows there's some type of acidity going on in there. And the baking soda, when we look at it, it says, this is what I need. But when we take it, the first thing we do is we neutralize our stomach acids. And then we absorb a little bit of it. And then somehow we're hoping it will get into the area where we need it. But the chemo can't get to it, so the baking soda can't get to it. Even if you go to a special doctor and you shove baking soda into your veins, you still can't get enough baking soda to it. We did that with chemo. How is baking soda going to help? What I created was the Mighty Magic program works by activating the system that sucks toxins out of your body and the acidity is the toxin and not the cancer the acidity was built up because of long-term inflammation and then the circulation literally started to shut down one at a time and eventually the ability to remove this type of toxin has shut down so now cancer can live comfortably. And this acidity can build up in the other lung. And now cancer can grow on the other side. This acidity can also start accumulating in the liver. And you can get cancer growing in the liver. The acidity can go into the bone. And cancer could grow in the bone. But one area cancer doesn't like to grow, it could, but it takes a while, is in the heart. Because the heart is constantly moving and it's disrupting the ability to allow acidity to build up. And that's the key. The fact that the cancer was in the lung, it should have gone straight to the heart because the heart is the closest. It didn't. It went to the other lung completely to the other side.
or went to the liver and it went to the bones, but it didn't go straight into the heart where you're supposed to go. And because the heart constantly moves, it disrupts the ability for this acidity to accumulate. And without the acidity, the cancer cells can't survive. The My T Magic program is focusing on the lymph system. There's different levels of the lymph system that pulls different types of toxins out. And it moves it and processes it out of the body. And the more acidity you have, the more stress we're going to add to your body. Not the kind that chemo causes. We're actually going to help the good part of your body work better. So we're actually building the good part that's going to now flush out the bad part. Chemo is killing good and bad, good and bad, good and bad, both die, and then hopefully the cancer dies first, and then whatever's left over will rebuild your body. My system is rebuilding the part that's not working, and as the part that's not working improves, it's going to go and kill the cancer. This acidity has to be pulled into the lymph system and then processed out of the body. And the problem right now is this acidity is building up in your body, but the PET scan shows that the cancer is lighting up. So we have to pull the acidity out, and as the acidity gets flushed out, we're exposing the cancer cells, and now your own immune system could go in there and take the cancer cells out. With this acidity, the cancer cells stay inside, protected. Your immune system, as it approaches the cancer cells, it becomes paralyzed in this acidic environment. And as it leaves the acidic environment, it's no longer paralyzed. And when you do a blood test, it looks normal. But when this white blood cell now approaches cancer cells, it's now in the acidic pool and now it's paralyzed. And this was the problem I had because I had herbal teas that will boost the immune system. The numbers of white blood cells counts would go up, but the cancer cells didn't change. But as I pull the acidity out, now, your immune system, your white blood cells have a chance to go in and take the cancer out. Depending on how long you've had the cancer, it's going to be a while. Okay, We're really literally rebuilding your body. If you had gamma radiation, if you had the best uh, treatment at some cancer hospital and they gave you the works. They gave you the chemo, they gave you the pills, they gave you the radiation. That's just more damage, more damage, more damage. And we had to rebuild whatever you have left. If you're up for the challenge and this is still a problem for you, we can flush it out. Realistically, with cancer, especially if you can't, if you can't remove it surgically or you don't want to, it's going to take a couple years to rebuild your body and get rid of the cancer. It's a long-term commitment, but it's better than nothing. And it works. It works slow, but it works. Would you rather have no hope, no change, or hope and some change, but you might have to invest a couple of years. You can keep working at your job. You can watch your family grow up. Go on vacation with your family. You can be working on expanding yourself, reaching your own personal goals while your body is getting rebuilt to destroy this cancer. If you're up for the challenge, the MIT program is here for you. Thank you.